What's going on guys? Come straight back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. So it's been a little while since we've just done a sit down video and I thought now would be the perfect time. I have a little bit more prep work that I had to do for tomorrow's team build, which I think you guys are really going to like. Very excited for it, but I wanted to do a sit down video. If you guys could leave a like down below on this video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new, very much would be appreciated. A lot of great Diamond Dynasty content. I have a lot of really cool ideas planned, so I'm really excited to get those out to you. But today I just kind of want to talk about really the place that we are in MLB The Show 19. Specifically, when can we expect a patch? Are we going to see another patch? So at the time I'm making this video, it is August 5th, 2019. And we have been on this same patch. I don't remember the patch number. I think it's like 1.12, 1.13. It's been like that for a while. We have been on the same patch. And there is clearly things wrong with this game right now, obviously. I do want to put out a quick disclaimer. I am not going to leave home MLB 19. I am still enjoying the game. Granted, that might be because I'm making content so if you guys you know that might be a reason why i am enjoying this more because i'm having fun doing things with the game so that is something i want to say i'm not i don't dislike the game i'm still having fun with it but with that being said it's hard to not notice some of the issues with it so first thing regarding the patches now i did go back and do some research the last actual meaningful patch that we saw within mlb the show 18 it was in June, so they had a patch, the last one was in September, but that was like commentary stuff. It doesn't really matter with the gameplay, um, and it's been a while, it's probably been like a month or so since we saw our last gameplay patch, and... I don't really know what to expect now. It has been a minute since they have had a stream. I do expect them to stream this Thursday, of course, SDS on their Twitch. Um, they have, of course, the brand new July monthly awards tops now and player of the month flashbacks that they always do a stream for. They didn't last time because they were busy with All Star, but this time I expect they will. And I really am hoping that they're going to mention and confront the gameplay issues, that they're going to say we have a new patch. It's going to be coming out soon ish everybody's favorite word um so at least we know that there's going to be one more thing at least because there are things for sure that they can fix this year there are things that is not realistic for them to fix this year for a couple of reasons one it is just too grand of a thing that it cannot really be changed within the year and then second it is about halfway through the gameplay the the game cycle and they're going to want to spend most of their developer time on MLB The Show 20 at this point. They're not going to reinvent the wheel, so to speak, with MLB The Show 19 because it doesn't make sense. The game is almost halfway out of its cycle. Madden's out. 2K is almost out. A lot of reasons for that being. But I do think, like I said, there are a couple things that they can do. One, and this has to be fixed because they've said in two patches now that this was going to be fixed. And that is the catcher meter showing up. I don't know how this keeps happening. Happening. It happens to me probably once every two games, I would say. I was playing in my gameplay the other day and it happened to me. And it's really frustrating because it'll happen on a drop third strike. I will try to throw it to first. Nothing ever pops up. So it ends up being a long, exaggerated pump fake. And I don't care even if you're... Who's the slowest guy in the game? Albert Pujols. I don't care if you are debuting a My 600 pound life. You can get to first base by the time I'm done doing that pump fake and actually get my throwing meter to show up. So that off the jump is something that needs to be fixed that cannot keep happening in the game because that can really, really frustrate people and cause a lot of bad things in the future. Another thing that they said multiple times, multiple times has been fixed is... um. Basically, and you'll actually see a couple times within this gameplay as we're using some high velocity guys, and it's something I mentioned. Use like Nolan Ryan, use all Rodas Chapman guys that they're really hard, and then also have like a change up to mix speeds. The things about these guys that really um, make these issues stick out like a sore thumb is that uh, the very early and very late are still there. You know, I don't really notice a reduction in any sense that. Uh, you know, they said um, you have to be more on time with your swings. I don't notice that. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. But this is continuing to be a very bad thing because you can be very late, um, very late, just late, late. 
uh, normal, like good, and then obviously on the flip side, all the earlies, just early, very early, and early. So there's so many different timing windows that you have, which can really destroy the game. So there's times where I throw a pitch nearly in the dirt. They're very early, very late on their swing. They should never make contact with that pitch. It extends at bats and eventually you're going to hang a pitch, which I've had multiple times. They hit for a home run, they get a hit, and then they start a rally, so on and so forth. It just cannot happen. It really reduces the skill gap, in my opinion, because it lets people stick around. If you don't have your PCI near the ball, if you aren't nearly on time, and like like I said, even if it was just um, just early, early, good, uh, just late, and late, that is still a pretty big timing window. You just cannot allow it. On like rookie veteran difficulty, sure, who really cares? But if you're talking about like Hall of Fame difficulty, which is what this was played on, this is in the Hall of Fame event, this is still happening. This is an issue. I had multiple times, and you guys will see some examples where you know, they are just not even close. They're still making contact. It extends at bats and bad things happen from there. So that is something that really needs to be fixed in my opinion. I haven't noticed too many bad fielding things recently. You know, they haven't made a change, I don't think. It just hasn't happened. Um, in this game, I do remember Bryce Harper missed a fly ball. It was a little bit difficult for him. He has silver defense. I think it's 70. This is his 95 overall card, which is fair. It was one where he had to kind of lunge forward that's fine I don't expect that catch to be made all the times recently I had Michael Chavis the flashback he has bronze defense have two errors on slow rollers would that happen in real life no but in a video game where you're supposed to be rewarded for having good guys out there defensively it makes sense I'm not upset with that the thing I was upset with before if you have gold or higher defense if there is a slow roller right to you never in a million years should you boot it I don't care who you are if you have 80 plus defense I'm doing my job there's no button I can press to you know slap the alligator claws what they used to tell you back in little league and you know feel the ball so i'm fine with that and the defense has actually made an improvement at least for me in my opinion now where we get into the things that could not be fixed is hitting you know the hitting engine that is something that they would not change just this year and it is pretty much impossible to expect but i think it is time and i want to talk about for mlb 20 they have to change the hitting engine there is no reason why we as a community for the vast majority would say MLB 16 and MLB 15's hitting engine was better than in the past three editions, MLB 17, 18, and 19. I don't know how that is because they introduced ball physics where it's supposed to be more realistic. And yes, I do agree it is more realistic, but that does not mean that it is good. The thing that has really changed and altered the gameplay as since MLB 17, we've seen the new bloop meta almost be introduced and it has really been brought up this year because if you think about last year, contact hitters were more or less obsolete. More people were just rocking power guys. Joey Gallo, even though he had negative vision, they didn't matter because he had power and the PCI was ginormous last year. It was a beach ball. Um, so that was a big problem. But this year, now the contact hitters are very good. Think of guys like Kenny Loft and each rope. You can pretty much just hit the contact swing, which I don't know if it enlarges your PCI, but it makes it so uh, you're going to make contact. Not as solid contact, but that's all you need. You just need to hit a bloop over the infielder's heads, get on base, then you have 90 to 99 speed, and you can just go ahead and run. And especially with the catcher meter not showing up, sometimes it can be really frustrating, and that can how that can be how you lose games. And that we get into the PCI issues, which once again, I don't think would be fixed. They mentioned in the start start of the year, the initial live streams before MLB 19 dropped. They're introducing this new system. They had different quadrants and I'll, I'll put up a picture. I'm pretty sure I can find it. Um, how the PCI was supposed to work. Clearly, if you guys have played MLB The Show 19, that's not how it worked. The PCI was a lot different and it just is not rewarding. I've talked about this a lot. You've heard everybody and their mom talk about this, that it is not that rewarding. Is it realistic that you're going to hit a home run on every play? No, but at some point you have to figure, at some point you have to say to yourself, should there be a skills gap? 
it's a video game. It should reward user input, and that's the big problem. That's where the top players where who are getting frustrated with the game that is their biggest gripe. They're not getting rewarded for user input, and then it is easy to just get blue pits. That's the big issue. So to be honest with you, I don't know if we're gonna get a patch. Like I said, I am really hoping that they are going to announce something on the stream on Thursday night, twitch.tv slash Sony San Diego Studio. I'm really hoping they're gonna talk about it at least. Even if there's not gonna be a patch, bring it up, mention it, don't hide it, don't don't just say that there's no issues with the game because there is and I think that's a big issue and that's where a lot of people are getting frustrated like I said Madden's out 2k is going to be out the new Call of Duty is going to be out so many new games are coming out this fall that MLB The Show 19 could quickly get buried the content is really the saving grace this is the best content that I've ever seen in an MLB The Show game it's the most frequent it's ever been at one point I was like and eh, there's too many signature cards I don't really care we have so much more lineup diversity and variety than I've ever seen in the past. Is there still some clear best cards in the game? Yep, Willie Mays, Ken Griffey Jr. when he comes out, Chipper Jones. But, you know, those there's enough cards to where you don't see the same cards every game, is what I mean. You see Kershaw every game, but th that's a little bit different, you know. Um, for the most part, lineup diversity is there, which I'm happy about. Content's great. This is the best content year that they've ever had. Gameplay it's not that good. I, it's better than last year in my opinion, but that isn't saying too much. Gameplay has some work to do. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. If you fix the catcher meter, if you fix the timing issue, if you just have some little smaller things that you can do this year, fix them, and it will preserve the game's life within MLB The Show 19. Um, and hopefully do some big things with MLB The Show 20. It's time to stop playing by the norms. It's time to stop just going little by little, just making slight incremental upgrades to gameplay. We've seen big things happen to the mode of Diamond Dynasty that see that in Franchise, that see that in Road to the Show. I have more videos, some more ideas that I'm going to talk about with MLB The Show 20 in the future. I don't want to bring those out now being August, but that's just my opinions. I had some stuff to talk about. Like I said, just wanted a nice sit down, chill, video as I prepare for a couple bigger videos in the upcoming week. Um, it should be interesting. Like I said, the next following week, we have the brand new uh, sixth inning program that is going to be coming out next Friday. It just seems like time is flying. Summer's almost over. It is crazy. But let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think about this. Do you think there's going to be a new patch? And what are the most important things that they have to prioritize realistically that could be fixed and adjusted within MLB The Show 19? Let me know what you think down down below there and also I am going to be doing a QA. and a I'll make a community post later but on my second channel Gomes uh, I will be having a Q&A so if you guys have any questions to ask me literally ask me anything I'll try and do my best to answer that so thank you guys so much we're almost at 15,000 subscribers thank you guys for killing the support I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and there you guys I'm out yay love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory